Dorinda. And I'm Nika. First thing we got to do is plan the menu. Mixed green salad, some type of spring roll. Ideas just start flowing. The wild mushroom risotto. A stewed down snapper. OK. Our focus is vegetarian, but also we will be offering a fish dish because we want to have something on the menu for people who are still in transition. I'm thinking about coconut sorbet. Hey, I'm so glad to see you, Robbie. How you doing? I'm doing great. The concept of our menu is vegetarian. A salad right here. I think it's very important to start out with something green. So I'm making a mixed green salad with a balsamic vinaigrette. The best looking spring rolls. We're going to be serving a vegetable spring roll with a sesame orange dip. That is good. I'm making a filet red snapper. We're going to be serving it with quinoa and steamed broccoli. I'm making this dish because it tastes good. Very little wine, more of the cream. I'm making a wild mushroom risotto with truffle oil topping and brown jasmine rice. I use brown rice because it's healthy for you. It tastes good, so why not? Come on, I need some more color on you, baby. For dessert, I'm making a delicious chocolate spelt cake with a raspberry sauce. Ah! I'm also making a coconut sorbet with an orange mango sauce. Our menu is smart, it's easy, and it's still going to impress the judges. Let's roll for the judges right now. Here we have mixed greens, a combination of spinach and red lettuce with sliced red radishes topped with a balsamic and shallot vinaigrette dressing. The spring rolls are filled with cabbage, carrots, sweet onions, and it's drizzled with the orange spiced sesame dressing. Thank you. The risotto is turning out great. That's the way I want it. That is awesome. I'm feeling really good about it. They're going out now. Hello, chef. What you have in front of you guys is a wild mushroom risotto. And then we have here a pan seared bread snapper. Hope you guys Thank like you. it. Thank you. All right. I was really excited when the plate was put down in front of us. I got a very lovely fragrance and whiff of something that was earthy and was going to taste very comforting. The interesting thing is she used no butter or cheese in this risotto. Really? She used the coconut milk to kind of bind it. I actually see the risotto being a signature dish if they were to succeed and open a restaurant like this. Hello, guys. How are you? Hi. Here we have a chocolate spelt cake. It is completely vegan. It has absolutely no animal product. It's made with coconut milk, absolutely no eggs, and vegan margarine. Here we have coconut sorbet. I added coconut shavings and mango orange puree on top with a dollop of raspberry, just to give it color and extra. Push it over, you know? This chocolate cake, I have to tell you, I really like it. It's moist, it's, it's good. I'm feeling nervous as I approach the judges' table. My stomach is in knots. How do you feel? We feel awesome. You guys have known each other forever. Yes. Is there anything that you've learned about one another through this process, about working together well or maybe not so well? We don't have confrontations in the kitchen. We have to have unity. That's very important to us. And that's why we've been friends over 33 years. I love your passion. I also love the consciousness that you're bringing to yes. alternative grains. First of all, the risotto was very flavorful. It was al dente, which is really hard to do with jasmine rice. It has a very nice texture, uh, a risotto texture. It was far and away the best red snapper I've ever had. I liked the quinoa today. I thought the texture was great. Everything about it was wonderful. 